of pipe smokers. This is Nathan. Coming to you from the friendly confines of my cold garage. I'm uh, enjoying my Um Paul, my Savinelli 614. In it, I'm having another go around with Marlin Flake from Rattrage. And in this pipe, it's actually really good. Jury was out with previous pipes, so I wasn't totally sure. Um, which is really interesting to me because most smokes I've enjoyed or haven't enjoyed have been kind of across the board this is one that we're this may be a specific marlin flake pipe for me so who knows anyway so I'm also uh Enjoying it with a nice glass of Ardbag Scotch. Eily Scotch. Nice peaty kind of scotch that makes you feel like you're drinking the earth. Which doesn't sound like it would be tasty, but it rather is. Um, so, the point of this video... I'm doing the intro now. Which the intro is already after I've done my press with my thing of mystery meat and the audio I tried to do on this substitute GoPro that my wife got me for uh, Christmas and the audio is all sorts of off on it so um, the first portion of the video when I'm actually putting the tobacco into the press is wonky to, at best. So, uh, just to give you a heads up on that, bear with it. And then the second half of the video I'm going to record here in a second and put it at the end. But in any case, here we go. Cheers.
Okay, so the last time that I did this, it was a mess. And that is, I'm assuming, mostly because it was an aromatic tobacco that I was pressing. And so it created, it was all sorts of goopy. Just in case this one is. I've got some gloves on. So I'm just going to take this and loosen that up. So, and I left this in the press for, I think it's, it's I think it's a week, maybe a little bit more. Um, yeah, so I left it in there and it should be, the flavors should be all nice and pulled together for whatever they will be. So, press is gone. Let's go. Put that to the side. And now, um, this may be the tricky part, as I recall, because this took some finagling. Um, because it's really pressed in there and it's not, yeah, I'm, I'm pressing pretty good in there, so. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to reverse the camera here and, uh, you know, get a hammer and stuff. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so now I'm going to figure out a way. I remember having difficulty with this. because I don't have a vice in my garage that I can easily get to because I'm a mess. Um... But, slowly but surely, pressure on the puck is going to bring out this one. And there we go. So there, you can see the puck. And yeah, they got pressed together nicely. And that's interesting. Yeah, this is a lot drier than the last time that I did this. Let's see if I can, yep, a little bit here and there. Yep, got it pressed there. Little by little. And then we'll have an adventure at some point. <laughs> Whoop! Well, the puck just came in half. All right. Word to the wise. The other thing that I did not do that, uh, in retrospect, I wish I had, was just sprayed a little bit of uh, some sugar water solution on the tobacco to kind of help moisten it up. Um, you know, I forgot to do that and so this may be a little dry. And there we go. All right, so when all that's said and done, we have now some crumble cake. And then some various shavings and you can see inside you get a little bit of stainage from that and the wetter the tobacco is the more stain you're going to have it's okay you can either count that as seasoning for the next puck or uh, you can go in and clean it you know whichever is your preference so um, all that said then you just real easy cleanup you know take your pucks and Take off the wax paper and toss those away and then put them in your PVC for the next time. And now 
I wanted to see how much I had in volume for mystery meat. So I have a little scale here. Okay. So cutting back in here with a view of my scale. I've got a 20 gram weight here just to make sure that it works and if I change the mode to grams you'll see I have 20 grams pretty amazing shocking stuff um, so we'll just do this one at a time because this ends up if I put both cakes on here it ends up being too much it's over 50 grams of weight so we have 27.8 grams with the smaller cake 38.9 grams with the larger cake right so Twenty-eight and, and so that's what about sixty-eight grams, right? Sixty-seven grams. Uh, and if we wanted to convert that to ounces, then the larger one gives me thirteen point seven ounces, and the smaller one. Gives me another point nine, yeah, point nine ounce. So we have basically 22, 23 ounces of crumble cake. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, so. Uh, the only other thing that you need, since I've already started off with a little addition to my mystery meat jar, I'm just going to get a smaller one here and just drop them in. And you'll be able to see here that the color is pretty nice. And it's pressed together pretty tightly. So I could have probably gone a little less on there, but as I come to an edge here, you can see that it breaks off rather easily, and then I can just crumble that apart. So, fun little experiment, um, and I'll do a, a video on that here later. Um, at some point with mystery meat so anyway that's if you ha if you haven't done that before I would I would recommend it uh, it's just fun you know a little adventure to do with your extra tobacco if you you know want to try it and it's completely inexpensive so you know there's a real benefit to that um, you know, so back to my Marlin Flake here, and it's nice when you actually use a proper wick. Anyway, so, this might be a little bit longer of a video. I may break it up into two, who knows. Um, but anyway, appreciate you watching. Uh, leave a comment below if you have recommendations or if I did something wrong that committed a mortal sin or whatever, let me know. Um, you know, or if it's inspired you to give it a shot, that'd be cool. Um, so, in any case... Um, yeah, count your blessings, be thankful, and with all that said, 
Grace and peace to you.